This is where I get all of my, my fruits and veggies. Oh my god, I want to buy it, but it's also like 10 bucks for pre cut up fruit. No, thank you. This chocolate is unreal. Oh my god. I literally don't know how to cut onion. My eyes can't take it. I know who what onions. Hi. Welcome back to the channel. All right, today I'm going to be going grocery shopping in New York because I feel like I've been showing y'all like my little like grocery shopping in like Chinatown in so long. But it's currently 6 p.m. The time says 3 p.m. though because I wanted to change the clock back three hours so that I wouldn't feel like shit about myself because I did indeed just wake up. See, the thing is I woke up this morning, right? I put like a workout set on. I went outside, took Sterling out to pee, journaled a little bit, and next thing you know, I found myself falling asleep on the couch and all of a sudden it's 6 p.m. But usually I'd be like, oh my God, this day is wasted. But no, but Today we're gonna go grocery shopping. The sun is literally gonna set in less than two hours So I better get my ass moving. I put on a workout set because I thought that I was gonna work out today But I ended up falling asleep. So we're gonna go on a walk, you know I just put some baggy pants on that I thrifted from the Silver Lake flea market in LA But I just have this sports bra on from set active But I also don't want to go outside like this because I don't want to get cat called today So we're gonna put this over top, which is so unfortunate. Is this cute or is this ugly? I just bought it. Oh, I'm thinking ugly so I just put on this top from the Silver Lake Flea Market as well. It's like a tube top. It's like a nice little crop moment, but also it's a little strapless moment. So like the Yiddies aren't like out, if that makes sense. Um, I also put this necklace on from the Melrose Trading Post. If y'all are ever in LA, the two places that you need to go are the Melrose Trading Post and the Silver Lake Flea Market. The Silver Lake Flea Market is a lot better than the Melrose Trading Post. If you guys don't know what it is. It's like, like little clothing stands, not just clothes, but mainly clothes. Basically like thrifting, but super curated. I just got these shoes in LA. They're men's size eight, but they fit me somehow. They're the New Balance 550s from Amelian Dior. Door? I don't even know. But I got them from The Real Real, which is like a like consignment luxury brand store. The fit is giving gray today, but I really like it. All right, I am gonna bring a backpack though for all of the groceries in Chinatown just because they come in like plastic bags. So I'm just gonna put them on the backpack so I can carry this around before we hit another grocery store. I'm also trying to eat a little bit more healthy, which the only reason why I'm trying to eat healthy is because I've actually been eating out every single day for the past like month straight and I'm not joking. And I was having like rashes everywhere and like my eyes were getting all like rashed up and like I was not doing okay. And I don't know if I had to deal with my diet or staying out all night or I don't know, but I'm ready to hibernate again. When I go with Sterling, I always take my backpack so that I can strap him onto it so I can grocery shop hands-free. Want to go grocery shopping? Come here! I just met a subscriber. Her name is Maggie here in Chinatown. Wait, do you want to tell them your favorite spots? Yeah, go to Golden Diner for okay. their chicken katsu sandwich and their yuzu aid. Okay, oh my gosh, it's her birthday. Let's say happy birthday, Maggie, in the comments. Oh my gosh! <laughs> He's just sitting in the chair. <laughs> this is me, like, most days. <laughs> I just found another subscriber name is Izzy. Oh my gosh, I keep meeting y'all in Chinatown. Wait, what are you up to today? I'm um, just having dinner with my mom. Okay. Okay, so currently I'm in Chinatown and I've met like 10 people already. I didn't get them all in the vlog. But, oh my gosh, I'm meeting so many of you guys here. It's so cool. So right now I'm on Canal Street. This is where I get all of my, my fruits and veggies. Okay, I just got some rambutan for $10 for two pounds. I don't know how to say it. I'm Vietnamese, I should probably know how to say it, but I don't. But right now I'm at the fruit stands and I'm picking up some mangoes and a couple other things. I just put everything in my backpack and we're gonna head over to Whole Foods, which is like 15 minutes away from here. So let's see that. I don't know about you, whenever like I have to like carry a tote bag or backpack or like anything with weight on it, I get so exhausted and irritated so fast. Like right now I'm just like, oh my fucking God. At this vegan restaurant called Wild Ginger. Yeah. I've been trying to eat more plant-based lately. Um, I'm not like super strict with it, but whenever I can, I want to try to. But I was gonna wait until like I'm done with Whole Foods. But not gonna lie, I'm in an irritable mood right now because Sterling likes to eat everything off the floor. Second of all, I have a heavy ass backpack, and third of all, I haven't eaten today yet. So I'm just gonna eat. Once I eat, you're gonna see me get my personality back. I don't know if you're like this, but I'm like this. Like if I don't eat that I don't have a personality. I just got some like vegetable mix that you like put in a lettuce wrap. I'm so excited to eat it. It's got like some crunch on it. I don't even know, with a little sauce. All right, cheers. This is so good. Can I be wrap? I just finished up eating there. I feel so much better now, like so much better. Like, like I'm literally not the same that you were just watching. Anyways, I'm currently in Little Italy. It is so pretty, but I think before I go get groceries at Whole Foods, I wanna get some gelato, cause I was like, Ooh, I want some dessert. So I'm gonna go get some gelato from this place called Figo. It's right around the corner. I've had it before, but they rebranded, but before it was really good. So I'm excited to try it again. All 
All right, I got dark chocolate vegan and then also passion fruit. I'm so excited. Mmm. Well, this passion fruit is so good. This is 80% dark chocolate. I'm so curious to see how this tastes. Oh my fucking god. This chocolate is unreal. Y'all have to come to New York and go to Figo and try their Narone 80% dark chocolate gelato. This tastes like a brownie, but in gelato form. Oh my god, this passion fruit is so good too. Y'all have to try this. I usually don't like tell y'all to go try things unless I think it's really good. This is really good. I love just doing things alone. I feel like it just like... I don't know. I always go home feeling really good about myself after. Because I just feel like you're just alone with your thoughts and you really get to like think without anybody else's like opinions. Does that make sense? I feel like you really get in tune with like how you're feeling and your emotions and your thoughts because you're not getting a response back. So you really just have to sit with them. I'm just like thinking real deep right now. But so far grocery shopping today has been great. section is so aesthetic with like all of the pre-cut up fruit oh my god i want to buy it but it's also like what the fuck 10 bucks for pre-cut up fruit no thank you <laughs> oh my god i'm actually a dumb bitch currently taking the train home i walked here but Groceries are too heavy. I only spent like I think a hundred dollars on groceries, which I think isn't bad considering it's all organic. I don't know if I'm just saying that to justify it, but to be honest, every meal if you like door dashed it or like ordered out would probably be around average like twenty to twenty five dollars. You probably need like two to three meals a day at least. So the fact that I got everything for a hundred dollars, I think should be good. This should last me about like five to six days. Hopefully, we'll see. Today, we're making acai bowls. There's like these acai packs that you can buy, like frozen. Usually you're supposed to put banana, but I don't have banana, so add some berries, a wee bit of apple juice, let me shit up. Okay. I'm gonna cut up all the fruit that I'm gonna put on it. Honestly, this is gonna be more of like a fruit bowl than anything, because like, I don't even have like granola, and I feel like granola is what hits the most. The other day, this dude that has interested me, I mean like I've gone on a couple dates with him, he ordered me an acai bowl to my house because he knows how much I loved acai in Hawaii. Yeah, fun fact. But if you follow this map account, you would have known that already. Yeah, safe to say that my expectations for men are through the roof after this dude. Am I gonna date him? No. Why? Reasons that only the spam account know. And if you're wondering, when am I gonna accept on the spam account? This week. This week I'm actually accepting people. With some blueberries. And a little bit of jackfruit. We gotta hit it with the jackfruit. I love jackfruit. With some coconuts. With some cacao nibs. And for that crunch, since we don't have granola, we'll do some walnuts. Oh my god! Y'all see this masterpiece? Oh, I can't wait to eat this. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This it looks delicioso. We got jackfruit, blueberries, peaches, dragon fruits, two different types of dragon fruit, and mango. Usually I put honey to sweeten this up, but you do not gotta sweeten this up. This shit's too good. All these fruits from like the Asian fruit stands. Oh my god. Mm mm mm. So good. One eternity later. It is a while later now, like eight o'clock, and I've just been doing nothing. But I was craving ice cream, so I ordered one, two, three. And two more are on its way. I couldn't decide, so I needed to get them all. I feel like a lot of people are like, oh my god, like now that I have money, like I think one of the biggest luxuries is like going to Cartier. But for me, it's like being able to order every single food item that I want. Because you know when you go out to a restaurant and you want to order everything, but you can't, and you're like, I have to only pick one thing, and it's actually the hardest decision ever. Well, now if I want something, I can order everything. So we're gonna try them all. Here we have some peanut butter brownie honeycomb. Okay, okay. I can't rate it yet because I don't know what I'm going up against, you know? Did they for real just give me two of the same exact ones? This was supposed to be a different one. It was supposed to be apple. What the fuck? It's good though, so I'm not complaining. All right. I need a pal- I just farted. I need a palate cleanser. It's good, but like, I'm not like obsessed. But it is good though. I really like this one. Per. Two seconds later. Even more ice cream. No, I literally am obsessed with the fucking gelato that I got from that place. Truly the best creation ever made. Oh my fuck. Oh my god. I also got it in strawberry. 
No, this one's good. This one's light. This one's refreshing. My friend invited me to go out. Like, she literally just called me. She's like, hey, do you want to go out tonight? I said no. It's like fun going out. But it's also fun just like sitting in bed and like eating food and listening to music and like journaling. So that is what I'm going to do tonight. Mm -mm -mm. I'm in the mood to make a corn chowder right now. When I went to Hawaii, I ate like corn chowder every single day and I was like, this is so good. I need to make this here. We got some garlic, some onion. I literally don't know how to cut onion. I never cook with onion. How to cut onion. Diced onions. My eyes can't take it. I'm not even following the recipe to be honest. When you're making soup, like how bad could it get? Oh my God, my eyes, okay. I never cook with onions. We got garlic. Oh my God, I need to be careful with this knife. I can't see, but my eyes are burning. I literally don't know what the this cooking segment is, but I'm so sorry. All right, we got some garlic. Now what, do I have to saute this shit? It says to use coconut oil, but I don't have that, so I'm just gonna use olive oil. I'm gonna throw the corn in here. <laughs> Thicken this up a little bit. I am so excited. This is my first time making soup, y'all. All right, it says to add limes, which like, these just don't got the juice, you know? I think we need a little more lime juice. All right, then it says to put some cilantro in. Her, we got the cilantro. Oh my God, wait, maybe I'm a soup maker now. In the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much treat, smoke is making my chest hurt.